Welcome back, everyone, to Hall of Fame Silver Lanes here in East Hartford, Connecticut. We are here for the semifinal of the Bullwinkles Pro Shop Neba Open Singles. It was a beautiful night here in Connecticut. Neba number 963. We are here on the Kegel Beaten Path Pattern version 2, 41 feet, 26.05 mils, 5.71 to 1. Bruce Hall here with you, along with tournament sponsor Rich Reynolds. Hey, Rich. Hello. Welcome back. Thanks Thank for you. coming. And uh, also, Bowler of the Year in 2021, Randy Hagemoser. Hey, Randy. I thought we were over that. <laughs> no, we're not. We're never going to be over. Oh, that's it. fine. I'm you're glad. Gonna, you're gonna I, I enjoy it until next year. Asking, yeah, right. That's <laughs> next, fine. Year next year, next year will be and joining us. <laughs> 2021 <laughs> Bowler of the Year. That'll be in 2028. <laughs> we'll be talking about that. So that'll be awesome. And uh, our final four in front of us here. Bowlers are just completing their practice. They get two balls on each lane, and then the higher seed gets their choice of starting lane. So there's also awesome, often some strategy there involving seeding. Possibly. So, uh, Randy, why don't you take us through our matchups? Well, uh, left lane 31-32, we have the number one seed, Tyler Hearn, versus Joe DiPetto, uh 12 seed. And then on the right lane, we got Jay Johnson, 23 seed, versus Malik Grove, new Neba area bowler coming in out of Miami. Showing up on his first Neva, really making a statement right he here. He sure is. He's 27 seed. He's tearing through this bracket. I think he's averaging about 250 yeah, or something. He took out Alex final. in the round of 32. So just Rocket and Andrew. Yeah. So he, and he's been just tomahawking his matches and uh, bowling great, throwing it great, and with a fair bit of a, a fair bit of surface on that phase too. So it's not like he's balled down. He's just using a lot of power and controlling the lane. Here's Johnson. Coming off a good game against Chris Monroy. Only title holder in the final four right here. Yeah, really interesting fact here. So we're asking about titles, and we've got three non-titleists, and we've got a two-thirds titleist by virtue of the fact that Jay Johnson won our trios back in 2007, and now he won again this year. So that's twice that counts as two titles. But yeah. Yeah. really, and they used to give me crap because I won a, a regional with Mike Ledick back in 1982. You guys were young babies. Wasn't even born yet. And um, <laughs> they call it half a title. But you know, so so Jay told us, yeah, I have two thirds of a title. So I've got I've won twice. But I'm only a half a title so holder. You're only a half a title holder as the double, but you're also bowler of the year. So in what year? 2021. 2021, <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby. I remember that. So <laughs> welcome everybody. Great to have you with us. If you could share the feed, we would really really appreciate that. Let's get some viewership going here in our. Great semifinal and final match, and Jay worried about the chop. Does not happen and makes the spear. Now let's get our first look at this exciting player, Malik Grove, coming up from Miami. Where else did he say? He, was uh, he from? says from Ohio. Ohio. And he okay. bowled, bowled college in Notre Dame. Okay. Had a job out in Miami. Was bowling out there for a couple years. He's 24 now, and he, he got a job up this way. So he's going to be around for a while. Well, he Maybe. sure is. And if he's this. Today is any indication you're going to be seeing a lot of these young men. Yeah, they're having a little difficulty in warm up, uh, getting his ball to see the see the lane and Both see the pocket. Them. Yeah, so we'll see what happens on this ball because he likes to throw it harder and straighter through the front. He's giving it a little room. Way further right. Well, yeah. So much for the problems. <laughs> uh, that was dead flush. So let's see what adjust. Did he change balls? Do you know what adjustment he made? No, same ball. I think he just moved his eyes maybe a little right just to, so it didn't see the front so early. Okay. Because he was playing them straighter through the front like Joe DiPetto is. Especially on that left lane here, 31 and 32. They seem to be a little tighter. A little bit more uh, shim left for him. Now Malik just gives a little room to the right and he just mashes them. So. Yeah, no problem. Just move the eyes one or two right. Throw it there. Yeah. That's the end of that. So DiPetto is our straightest player, obviously, right? Yeah. Trying to play him straight and hard. Yep. Yeah, this left lane is intriguing. I saw Jay's last two shots on this lane. Definitely jumped on him. So he's, he's deeper on this lane. He missed that it, too. Left off his hand. Got, got a good eight, though. And got break, breaks up the 3-6-9-10. And just leaves the 3-6 Malik. Now Ty Hearn starting off with a double or a high qualifier. So high qualifier trying to run the table and win the tournament. Very, very difficult to do at Neba, as we know. As the number one seed, I haven't. I don't see that very often. Doesn't happen often. I, I've been the number one seed quite often in my career. I've never won from that position. Um, it's just too. Anything can happen in a one-game match. I mean, High Roller made a made a made it made a catchphrase out of that, and it's so true. You know, for some people, I, I mean, me personally, I'd rather be bowling. You know, I don't want to. Uh, 
I don't want to get, I mean, buys are nice, obviously, but yeah, I'd like to be bowling just to get a feel for the lanes, you know, how they're playing, watching everybody else, see how they're breaking them down. You know, standing in the back isn't that, I mean, it's nice to get a few extra dollars and you get through, but to me, I like throwing the ball and seeing how things are uh, blending out. And if you win that first match and you get that experience, yeah. you definitely have the advantage coming through into yeah. the next match. I agree with that. Yeah. And if you look at the step ladders on the PBA, the number two seed is dominant. Yeah. And the number one seed is having a heck of a time on it, trying to come come in yeah. cold, and the other person is, yeah. by virtue of the fact that they won the match, you know, they're comfortable with the pair. Yeah, you know, they could try different balls. If they got enough lead, they can try different things. The guy coming in just to bowl one game, you know, he's got to make a pretty good guess to, to make his ball see the lane. And Jay Johnson, a, solid nine. Solid nine, wouldn't go. This is a good pitch, too. Joe, what's Joe DePetto going to do here? He's gone high. Two, maybe three shots in a row now. He's got to move. He's got to move his feet a couple left, and just throw it back to that spot. I think he'll have a good look because there's enough enough hold on this pair, especially with his ball speed. Yeah. 197 entries today, guys. 40 qualifiers, 30 senior entries, 13 super seniors, 16 women. Our title sponsor, Storm, is nice enough to give us two balls per tournament. Today was run won by the alternate at 10.62. Stephen Major sneaks in as the last at-large cut at 10.63. Justin Bychowski wins a ball from Storm. And then we have a raffle for everybody who signs up in advance. That was won by Mark Bouchard. So, and the nice thing about those balls is it's not like a ball you take from here. You get a certificate, and you mail it in for any Storm, Global, or Roto ball you'd like. And it's really a nice little yeah, program. That is a nice deal. That Storm has given us. And then go get a drill at your favorite pro shop, such as Bullwinkles. And Tyler's throwing a, looks like an emerald, emerald right? No, yeah. Emerald, yeah. Yeah. Just drilled it up uh, yesterday, actually, I think. Do you drill his stuff? Who actually? Um, yeah, I've, I've been drilling his stuff okay. for a little over a year. Good for um, you. He came, comes up from the Connecticut area, Groton area. Very cool. Um, he actually has been coming around the shop and, and working a little bit, too, trying to learn his trade. He wants to bowl a lot more. So okay, it's actually him. the first ball I let him actually put his own holes in. Wow. Two holes. You can put your own two holes <laughs> with some with some pitches in it. Wow. Amazing. So he actually punched. He, he actually First ball he's ever depressed. touched. Yeah, okay. he did everything, too, because it's a used one, too. It's one of my old ones. Oh, interesting. I was just like, hey, I, I okay. kind of don't want it. It had less games on it. It was a layout I didn't like. Yeah, interesting. Took it, plugged it, did all the work. Wow. Well, here he is. And he's been killing Taking it with, it with a chance for the finals. And by the way, he's got the lead. And Joe DePetto, not a good look on this pair. So they're looking strong to try to get to the finals here. And good cover the nice, there. The nice thing about his game, you know, he's a no-thumb guy, right? Mm -hmm. But he mm -hmm. is not super high rev, so he can, it's well under control, which is nice. A lot of forward rotation yeah. for that type of guy. That's too. nice. So it doesn't that to Grove's rev rate, and, yeah. and Grove has a... His is really forward, too, though. Yeah. It is. He's right behind it. And he's using a bigger ball, so it doesn't see it in the back so much, which is nice. A little slower yeah. coming off the spot. Yeah, a lot slower ball motion in the back, which is good. And rips the rack here. Neither Johnson nor Grove able to, able to double here in the first three frames. So let's see what he does in this left lane here. Perfect Beautiful. shot there, giving him the strike. And we'll so we had both squad cuts at the same today, right? 81? 81, that's right. Between yep. the four of them, two of them made it off the 9 a.m., the other two made it off the 12.30. The two two, the two two-handers mm -hmm. made them off the 12.30. And none from last which night. Which makes a little sense, you know, mm -hmm. because they were able to move in a little more and get comfortable. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh. That's right. Doesn't make the corner oh. and no. it's two eight ten. Two eight ten. Yeah, it was either going to be a two eight ten or, or an eight ten. Yeah. <laughs> either way, he knew there was trouble too as soon as he let it go. And I have seen him come back from there, but I guess he knows this pair is a little tighter. It's really weird how inconsistent. The Peter looked like he moved been. a little more left with his feet. He did, and that and that laid off a little. Yeah, we're just we're a little uh, scared to throw it to the right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does not surprise me. Yeah. Did that That's a bunch today. Yeah. Eight out for Grove, which is going to give him now the 13 pin deficit. And Johnson with a chance to double and extend that lead. Rich, we want to thank you so much for being our title sponsor here. We have yeah. some other 
fantastic sponsors, starting with Cambridge Credit. Uh, $7,000 added by Cambridge, uh, $3,500 from Cambridge and $3,500 from Neva for the Cambridge Credit Invitational. That was in January. We also want to thank LaRue at Many Styles of Bowling, Jeff Dawson at East Coast Sports Investors, Randy, John, and Alex, and yourself, and everybody at Strike FX. Thanks so much for sponsoring. We just came off the doubles at EP, and we are here at Rich's title event, Bullwinkles. Our next event coming up is on April 9th and 10th, and that's at Buddy's Pro Shop. Singles, $1,000 added by Buddy's. It's the first stop in the Paul Forey $10,000 Memorial Prize Fund. And there's a whole series of stops. You can read about that on the BullNeba.com website. And it's the second stop in the b women's series, the BowlingSeriously.com sponsors that. So please check out the website. You can learn about these special prize funds at the end of the season, both for Paul Forey and for the Women's Cup. And come on down to Buddy's down in Nutmeg on 4-9 and 4-10. Our tournaments after that, April 30th, we have a senior event at Walnut Hill. And that's sponsored by Logo Infusion. And then on April 30th into May 1st, we have the non-champs coming up also at Walnut Hill. Ace Mitchell, haven't been to Walnut Hill, guys, in a long time. Uh, might be our first time there, actually. For you know, at Neba, yeah. In a while. Yeah. 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 To the scoreboard up so. there. Do to fix Just press great. the X on the screen. Yeah, so there you go. And here's Ty. Got that a little right. And boy, that hang spot is definitely waiting for you. It is on that right lane for sure. Yep. When the ball gets out to 7 8, it's going to wiggle a little bit. Also, guys, looking forward to going back to Rutland. Rutland Bowlerama of the Green Mountain Open with John Wilbur, our sponsor up there. We have a youth event coming up at Chicopee on June 4th, sponsored by Dexter and Paul Sylvia. June 4th and 5th is singles at Chicopee. That's sponsored by Savage Arms and Al, Ca Al Casper. We have over-under doubles coming up, sponsored by Turbo Grips and Chris Sand. That's in June 25th and 26th is regular doubles, sponsored by a new sponsor, Grog Monster Sports. June 25th and 6th, also the doubles weekend, GMS Decorative Concrete adding money to that event. We have singles coming up in July at Callahan's Bolorama. Can't wait for that. Always fun to see the Callahan family adding $4,000 to that prize fund. $2,000 personally from Lisa Callahan, as well as $2,500 in a general sponsorship. So thanks so much for the sponsorship from the Callahans. We're going to Jeff Barden's centers both in Yankee Lanes and Keene. We have July 30th and July 31st. We have that whole weekend. We have golf being sponsored there. We have a seat. We have a, a singles and doubles nasty. event there. Did you play golf last year? No, I didn't. Did you play was golf? it nasty? I, yeah. play, I play bad golf. It was right after a monsoon. We actually <laughs> oh, had, to, <laughs> we had to keep, go to a different golf course. We were swimming through puddles. No kidding. Uh, Is that right? I lost wow. five balls hitting them right in the middle the of the fairway on a puddle. <laughs> That's so funny. Put on your wetsuit and get oh, yeah. going. So. Then we'll be back here in August, guys, for the senior event sponsored by Chicago Sam's. Then we'll have a women's event BowlingSeriously.com. Then we'll have the Masters, sponsored by Tony and Susie Renaud, and Bluefield Electric, and GMS Concrete is adding money to that. September 17th and 18th is a doubles event in honor of my dad, Vincent Hall, and that we'll be adding $6,000 to that prize fund. The interesting thing there is that any two over-under players may bowl together, and that means I can bowl with Andrew, even though we're both Titleists. So, guys, get your favorite senior or junior in your case. Uh, as it may be, and go ahead and bowl with them in that event. That will be fun. We have EP coming up in October. Uh, singles and a senior event and a women's event also at Yankee Lanes in Manchester coming up. Jeff Barden, KR Strike Force is sponsoring at EP, and then Jeff Barden again adding $1,500 to each prize fund. We have non champs coming up at Auburn at DJ's Pro Shop, John Zawalik. That's in November. Then we have a TOC at uh, Auburn as well in November, guys, and we wrap up the year at Norwich with the senior and singles event in December. So thanks so much to all of our sponsors. $60,000 in total cash and equivalent equipment Ooh, donated. Just chopped a 610. Oh, wow, nasty. And that's coming off that nasty 2810 he left. Yeah, yeah. So that's back-to-back -back opens for Malik. Yeah, Jay Johnson just left the uh – Threw it out there, and he thought it was a really good shot. It looked good, but it just uh, turned really hard off the back of the pattern. And Joe just does just want to throw it to the right. Yeah, I definitely for for Joe uh, Jay on this left lane. It, 
seems to be jumping a lot. He's trying to roll it more to get it to shape, but it's still. I bet you just if he too just much. moved a few left and threw yeah, it back to I the same like spot, he, yeah. I think he could get a good look. We'll see what Malik does because last time he threw it, they both want to play this pair more right than they probably needed to. I think Malik's too far right already. You can yeah. see his feet are too far right, but. Like yeah. he's trying to keep really it tight hard, like he yeah. was earlier, but from a deeper distance. Yeah. And then when he goes it left off right off his hand, it's They've still been comes deeper back in other pairs. What are they afraid of? Why aren't they not moving? Not sure. In? Well, this pair has uh, some hook to the right though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that you see that, but you can't score up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think if he moved five left and threw back to that spot, he'd be right there. Well, remember also he threw it out there and left it to a ten, so he's got that. I in think his that mind was one of those ones where he, he moved in but he kinda hit that, that hang spot that we most of us had in the second block, which could have been happened by now, and you know the burn. Yeah, there's probably a hole in the middle of the pattern. Mm -hmm. Oh, make it! Got it. Man, good cover Don't there by mixes. Malik. Mixes look a little. <laughs> Eleven pin lead now for Johnson on 33 and four, and we have a. See, that's nine a good shot right there. Great that's shot his best there shot yep. that game so far. Yeah. Nine pin lead Keeps by Ty Hearn here on 31 yeah. and two. So both of these matches will be then a mark, guys. Pretty exciting. Let's see what Jay does on that right lane. Both guys are having issues with the left lane, but we'll see what Jay does on the right here. Chris Balding said hi. <laughs> he said, is that Rich Reynolds on play by play? I said, yes, it is. <laughs> hey, Chris, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. Oh, oh, oh. That's gets the 10 to kick out. See, it's oh. like a whole zone oh. move, you know? Yeah, yeah. he it thought like that was good, little, too. But he got it right. And yeah, it he thought that was good. It was going to pick up, and it just didn't. So the track is carved. They're trying to make little moves. They've got to really get in yeah. and cross it yeah. and use that dry, right? So this is a full zone move for both guys, really. Um, yeah, I think if they go five, is what's required. maybe a dot with their feet left, they, they'd be fine. Now, if they were on the title pair... Probably wouldn't have to make that move and go straighter. So Getting that slow wheel. Good shot by Ty there. Yeah, he's rolling it forward. Or it's really good. That's a. I mean, that ball's not really going to bring it yeah. a lot anyway, so that's mm -hmm. good. His mistakes are light pockets like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. He hasn't really he, thrown one knock on, you know, he, announces curse, but he hasn't really got one that got He doesn't right have to open his angles at all because exactly. that ball's he not going to peel back. He can play. He can miss left, and it's still going to shim there for him. This would be an interesting spare right yep. here. And Throwing the big wheel at it. Good right shot at it. there by Jay. Covers Keeps the, the spare. Keeps his 11 pin lead. And Ty Hume with a chance now to pull away. He's got a 9 pin lead. We've had one double in, all, in both of our matches so far, guys, through six frames. One double, and that's by Well, not titleist. It could be a little pressure on these guys. A pressure. You know? They're feeling it. A little grabby going, and maybe? by the way, you know, everybody tracking up the same part of the lane. And this that was there is another big double, double by Ty. Huge shot there, giving him the 19-pin lead now over DePetto. Looks like Jay has moved his feet some left. Oh, absolutely. He's going to be somewhere over 20. Could be the maybe, zone Maybe talking. they heard us talking. Yeah, 20 to there's a lot of ambient noise here, but they might have heard us. Oh. Yeah, he's at 18, 19. Pretty good shot. Right in that track oh. area. Oh. It off. Gets the All right. nine not to it's go. It's a lot closer, though. Yeah, he That's saw that hook work. spot last yeah. time, and he moved left and threw it back to it. Yeah. Now that was a good shot. Ten pin lead. Malik can come up and tie this match up if he can get lined up. Neither bowler here doubling on 33 and 4. Huge shot by Joe. He got that one way right, right off the hand, but he got the pick. Gets oh. up and gets the smashing Farkle back across the lane. Boy, did that one recover. Now, I've Keeps seen some nine. recover up there, and others hang off for two tens. He's what's got, the, he's the got the his feet in the right spot now, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. what, what what makes that difference? Why, why does one lay off and one read and, and pick up before it leaves the pattern? It must be just the hole in the pattern somewhere there where he, if he squares up, it goes left. But now yeah, he's got his feet. Front hook. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. got his feet in the right spot, so he can throw it back to the right and... Now he's got confidence. He knows if he throws it back to the right, it's going to charge back to the pocket. Well, that was a huge confidence builder in matching the double to once again make it a nine-pin match. Plus, he's now. got a finish on that lane, so he's going to feel confident when he gets up in the 10th if he needs it. Mm -hmm. So, by the way, guys, this is to take the lead by one to Petto. And 
and gets up it up the to hill. the right. Up the hill, smashes it. Same right shot, there. basically. Yeah. And he's really the right. It looks like he's not even cover. touching the finger holes. It's kind of <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> it just reads. Yeah. And goes. So Joe coming let's, through. Let's see what Malik does on this right lane here. Oh, huge pressure on Ty on this next shot. He really needs to move left and soften it up. I don't know if he can do that. I but think he's moved left a little. I don't yeah. think he's made a big zone move. No. I, well, that's definitely oh, left. It out. Oh, oh yeah, he got nice softer with that one. Nice. Boom. Yeah, he got softer with that one. Let's Boom. see if he moves into J zone on this left lane. And guess what? This is to tie up this match. So, things getting interesting now. Mm -hmm. Three non-titleists and Jay Johnson with two trios titles. Everybody looking for their first singles title here. Oh, pretty good Looks good right there. Tie. Beautiful shot there. Clutch He's in the, the ninth. Up. Takes his lead back again. He did lose it, the lead. Now he takes it back. Both bowlers with the back three now. See, Malik didn't move. Two. He didn't move a lot. He needs to go another five with his feet probably Probably left. This one might jump on him, you think. Yep. Maybe. Got to get it right. He gets it right. Oh, he's got it right. React. Nice. Oh, what a shot. Big oh. What a shot to tie it up. Malik Grove making the move. This young man has come to play. Storming into New England. With a chance to win. Go one for one. Aniba. By the way, guys, you want to know somebody else who's one for one? Bold one Neba in his life and won it. Mark Rock. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, absolutely true fact. That was in, uh, oh, wasn't it Brockton? Right off his hand. Uh, yes, it was. It yep. was in Brockton. Yes, it was. I was, was a little four, little limp. And he couldn't get it up the hill for an eight pin. All right, so tie maximum 225. 225. And now, he can strike double. must strike yep. to get to the 220s. And then you need strike nine spare to win by one. That's assuming Ty makes strike, it in strikes. Makes it in strikes. And Jay got, got that ball that left. Got it left and soft. Yep. And so now Malik Grove has taken a two pin lead over Jay Johnson and has found the pocket on both sides. So can he extend that lead? And no trouble on the spare by Ty. Strongly recommend 10 here to keep the count. Put the pressure on the Depetto, and can he roll Taking himself into the final? And Ty slowing things down by taking a re-rack. Ty, hit it again. And Jay, no trouble with the 3-6. Boy, what chess game's going on here, guys? I mean, I, I could not tell you who our finalists are going to be yet. We're here in the ninth and tenth frames. So let's see what Jay does. He uh, he had the pocket the last time in this lane. Shout out to Carl Buckley from the UK. He and some compatriots came over here, and he does get go. the strike for 225. Looks like he'll be back at Keene. Sarah Hood was over here, and... Agar Nielsen is over here, so great to see the folks on Bruno Badone's bowling promotion tour. If you guys have seen any of those matches on YouTube, Viali yeah. was there. Yes. And uh, yours truly doing the U.S. commentary for those matches. A lot of fun doing that. Did you remote commentary that? I'm not going to say, I'm not going to reveal <laughs> my secrets. I, I don't want anybody to. Oh, he oh, definitely got in. Uh, oh. Lays off and, and in. strikes. Not bad, not bad. I did get asked what Daria Payok was like. <laughs> and I could not answer truthfully because the answer is I do those remotely. Unfortunately, <laughs> I was not there. But I did just call the final, final match of that series for 2021. So that will be up on YouTube in a few days. So shout out to Bruno right. Bedon. What a great time there. Viali and uh, both Amy and Chris had a great good. time. That's there. really good. That That's right. really good. Yeah. And he he's gets three in a row done. to come back. And now, interesting Hand situation. Bone. Hand bone. Get out of there, six pin. <laughs> And now, interesting situation. Joe needs nine spare to win, eight spare to tie, and seven to lose. Nine miss could lose, too. Nine miss could lose, too, is right. No, nine miss would tie. Oh, would that still tie? Ooh, that went left. Let's see, nine slower. miss would yeah, go. Let's throw it. Let's do it slower six, for five, sure. Yeah, nine miss would go a tie. 
Yeah, but Joe, three in a row, or four in a row, he's trusted to the right. They've all come back and all been mixers. So what a great adjustment he's made after going through the beat several times earlier in the game. Let's see what he can do here. That's and really good right there. Really good. Boom! That's a winner. Joe Tepeto in the finals looking for his first NEBA title. We have our first finalist. Well, the number one seed's knocked out, too, so that, number that one theory's seed's gone. Knocked out and, and my horse, so that means I'm leaving. Are you knocked <laughs> no, out? Exactly are you knocked like out an hour, <laughs> hour and 40 drive. Oh, uh, geez, mile. only one more game. Come on. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we have such chemistry here in the booth. That's no, because I let you just talk. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't want that. No, it really was great Good having shot. you. I really Good do shot. appreciate having you here, Randy. It's been awesome. I enjoy hanging out. And great finish by Joe there. What a great match. And a winner there, Joe Tepeto going for his first title. Now Malik, by virtue of that seven load, yeah. lost the lead by one. Talk about going down to the tenth. So he can, go, he can punch for 192. And right now, Jay Johnson, spare strike for 183. 83, yeah. So let's see what Malik can do here. He went high flush last time on this lane, too, so. Oh, got, got that, that one out. Right. Deep rain, got it right. Doesn't oh. recover, and there's hey. a seven load. And that's trouble for Malik. Now, Jay yeah. Johnson will only need to fill. He'll need a mark and just a little bit of fill. Malik, maximum 179. But Jay will still have to show up in the 10th. Malik yeah, needs Mark gives him a better chance. But. Yeah, Malik's got to make this to have any chance. Is that going to hook? And does not hook. And Malik Grove looks like he's met his match in Jay Johnson, but what a great showing by Malik, Absolutely. great to have him here Absolutely. in Neba. He's gonna be a force. You are going to see a lot from that young man. And uh, this pattern finally getting him. I thought he did trust it right, but just didn't make that corner. You look at the difference between him and Joe, that's why it's so confusing sometimes to yeah. try to figure out how this pattern's gonna behave. Yeah, there was a hang spot on that lane, but. Yeah. And it might be lane to lane yeah. that it does that. So. Yep. And that was that same pitch that got him that 2A10. Yep. Right? I think, uh, you know, if he did what Jay did, move five with his feet left, you know, and just fed yeah, it back to that. You almost want to aim for that hang spot. He wins. Yeah. Like something That's, that right. Just That's right. Might make the corner a little, a little quicker. Yep. And now Jay Johnson just needs to keep it on the lane. That will do it. That's Oof. enough. Jay Johnson will bowl Joe DiPetto for each their first singles title. Joe is first title, period. And yeah. Jay trying to get his first single title, having two trios titles. So we'll watch Jay finish up. Randy, you are going to take off? We're going to lose you? You uh, want to stick around? Come on, we'd love to have you. I I'll know it's late. I'll hang. Yeah, I'll baby. Hang. All right. <laughs> Why Thank not? you. I'll that's let Tyler go cool off a little bit. You know, that's what bowlers of the year do. They stick around. <laughs> <laughs> now he's leaving. Now that I said that, he's going to leave. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I, like, I love hearing it. <laughs> I know. Don't let it go to your head. It's okay so if I say it. It Everybody go to your head. It, I know that's right. Hey, bud, you earned it. Let me tell you, that was a tough field. Tough field you beat. Let me tell you, with Alex right on your heels. Alex didn't bowl the last event. He probably could have caught me. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anyway, it will be Jay Johnson against ball Joe change Pedro. here. Burner Pearl. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ball <laughs> down for sure, right? I know. How is that? What is that compared to the electrified? It's a good question. Actually. You know, that ball is, for me, it, it sees it really early, that ball. For me, I I had to really change the surface and shine it up so it got through. Mm -hmm. But once yeah. it did, it really curves in the back for sure. Look at that. But if man, he's got them laid out the same, though, that, that's not a bad choice because it right. will get that, you know, a little quicker down lane so yeah. it can stay a little right and get a uh, left and get, get it out there. Mine saw it really early. You know, I was looking to okay. looking for a replacement for, right. for an emerald, and it didn't got work. Our finalist, Depito versus Johnson. Depito Johnson, and we'll, we're going to we're going to move the cameras. We'll be right back, guys. See you in a bit. <laughs> 